in two, baby. <laughs> Everybody. Hello all of my couch potatoes and welcome to another edition of True Talk on the Couch. As always, I'm your host, Ralph Cunningham, and I always got a good show for you guys. But before I get into any of that, I got to say what's up to my main man, my mellow, my ace, Ezra Cunningham, my brother, a.k.a. the Black Butterfly, a.k.a. the Blind Poet, a.k.a. Eyes Merit now. Well, he ain't here. I'm just saying, hey, what's up to him? What's up, Kyrie? Okay, so now, I also want to talk about, uh, give a shout out to uh, Fatal Grips. You got to get those grips, man. I mean, because if you don't get those grips, then your controller will fall out of your hand and you're going to lose the game. So if you want to make sure that you, you know, can hold on to your controller when your hands are sweaty and the game is getting deep, make sure you know you get those Fatal Grips at, you know, TTOTC, Fatal Grips, you know what I'm saying, get them. All right, so today I want to talk to everybody about um, the thing about Roseanne. I know this happened a couple of, maybe like a week or so ago. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know what kind of direction to actually come at it. I listened to a lot of people's opinion about how they figured Roseanne is a racist and how a lot of people thought that, um, you know, she deserved to get her show canceled. Well, I mean, I'm going to take a different view on it. I'm going to take a different approach make that. I think that um, what Roseanne said probably wasn't the best thing to say. Um, I mean, come on. But we've heard worse from a lot of other people, from a lot of other people that, you know, are movie stars and uh, actors, actresses, uh, singers. We've heard a lot worse. So, I mean, to get her show canceled, maybe she deserved it, maybe not. I mean... It is what it is now. I mean, you got to think about it. You had Paula Dean who said some pretty disgusting things, and she got canceled. I mean, Hulk Hogan. Man, you know, I'm a real American, Mr. Hulk Hogan. You know what I'm saying? Remember, anybody and everybody, you can't still tell me that if you go to a WWE arena and all of a sudden you hear Hogan's music, you don't get those goosebumps and you don't stand up and start yelling for Hulk Hogan. I mean, I love Hulk Hogan. I mean, he said some pretty off-the-wall things, but you know what? I don't know if that makes him a racist. I think it makes him a realist. You know, I think it makes a lot of people a realist. You know, I mean, we, we all need to just, at this day and age, just really start thinking. You know, it ain't drugs that's telling you or making you say certain things. You know, the things that you say are the things that you mean. You know, sometimes, you know, weed, uh, alcohol, uh, prescription painkillers, you know, it just gives you that extra courage to go ahead on and say what you've been dying to say anyway. I mean, but once we actually get over this stupidity that's called racism, I mean, come on, how many nationalities are out there that we're afraid of? Why are we afraid of one another? We're people, we're humans. Muslims, blacks, you know, Indians, Asians, uh, Mexicans, I mean, uh, Jamaicans, <laughs> I mean, just, just people. I mean, and once we just sit back and, and, and actually notice the beauty of one another's culture, man, I mean, it's really just no end to the possibilities of, of you know, things to come. But the first thing, you got to get over this stupid racial hump. Racism is the dumbest thing. We all got idiots in each other's eth race. There's, there's some dumb black people out there that you just be like, man, when you see them, you're like, man, I'm ashamed to be black. You scratch your head, you just turn your head and be like, man, I can't believe that. White folks, you got that too. Asian people, you got it, as well as Mexicans. And I mean, you know, we, we, we or I shouldn't say Mexicans, Latinos, I'm sorry. Um, and, and everybody's so damn politically correct. Come on, calm it down. We, we okay, we okay, but we just gotta get over this racial hump, guys. Racism is stupid. And it's, it's a way that um, dumb people get to divide us as a people. We're all people. We all stand up and walk 
on two feet, put on our pants and shoes and shirt the same way. And racism is dumb. I've seen I've seen people of different races that are just flat out beautiful, females that are just beautiful. And, and, and come on, and vice versa. We need to get over this. We really need to get over racism. It, it, it's one of the things that's just keeping people and holding people back. It's dumb. It's dumb, you know. And like I said, you know, what Roseanne said, she meant to say that. Ah, she meant to say it. So, you know, you can apologize until, you know, your show come back on. It, you know, you said it. Not saying that you totally meant what you said. Same thing with Hogan. You know, not saying that he totally meant what he said. Because he apologized to a lot of people. He's like, man, I ain't mean it like that. You know, and at the time, maybe he thought he had his ghetto past where he could say something like that. You just never know. I mean, because Hogan got the 24-inch pythons, man. You just don't, you know, I don't know. But anyway. So, when it comes down to it, the whole thing is racism is dumb. And anybody that is involved with racism, you're a dummy too. Ta. Now, you know, that speech right there and everything I just said really got me thirsty. Can I have something to drink? I'm sorry, I usually don't do this. But I am really thirsty right now. And I just want something, something to drink. Ah, oh, there's my son, Stefan. Stefan one. Oh, he brings me a big old glass of milk. Mmm. Speaking of milk, did you know that it's the South African company that is pushing out bug milk? And what's been trending as far as milk go, I know it's very disgusting, roach milk. So would you guys happen to, I don't know, would you drink a cup of roach milk? Mm. Well, see, they say it's very delicious, it's very nutritious, and do you know that it takes 2,000 pregnant mommy roaches, these are roaches, guys, that crawl up on the floor and everything, it takes 2,000 mommy roaches to make one nice, delicious, refreshing, yep, cup of milk. Mmm good stuff so how about if that like came in a carton and so like he was just pouring your milk inside of your cup and then all of a sudden like got like this brown stuff floating around in your milk would you still drink it I mean I'm guessing they would kind of like you know sift all the, the roach out of there I mean I don't know would you drink some roach milk it's very disgusting, but they say that it's very nutritious and it's trending. You could look this up. I don't make stuff up. It is trending. Roach milk. Yum yum them some. So I mean I'm I'm just wondering if roach milk is the is is the new big thing, you know, will we see this like in supermarkets and stuff here? I mean it hasn't it hasn't hit here just yet. In fact, um People have tried to ask uh, this South African company because they are making ice cream and it's bug milk that they're using, but they're not saying which, what bug that they're using. And, uh, but I'm quite for sure there's a couple of roaches in there. Would you eat it? Bug ice cream? Would you eat roach ice cream? Would you drink roach milk? I don't know, quite disgusting to me. I don't think I would drink roach milk. And I mean, I mean, there you have it. Roaches, guys, they're making, it, it, it's, it's, it's nutritious for humans. I don't know where the scientists came up with that one, but um, I don't know. I'll stick to water and I'm good. If I if I can't have some cow or almond milk or something like that, I, I don't think I'm gonna go to roach milk. But I mean that's up to you guys. It depends on what you think. Let me know. You know, let us know. You can always comment on our page. Also make sure you hit that like and 
subscribe button so you can get all of my uh, videos that come out. Roach milk, guys. Roach milk. Let me know, would you take a sip of roach milk? Would you take one sip of roach milk? Just to see what it tastes like. You know, roll it around in your mouth. Would you, you know, the flavor. I wonder if it's sweet. They say it's like breast milk. It's, it's comparison to the female's breast milk. I'm not making this up. You read it up, read up on it. It's roach milk. And it's a trend. It's, a, it's, it's been trending. Uh, it actually started in, what, 2016? And it's back out again. So, I mean, there you have it. Um, I'd like to say well, thank you to my son, Stefan, one, 12 DJ Sean for helping me out. Um, all of my couch potatoes, it can only get better from here. Peace.